Good evening and welcome to the Tuesday, January 3rd, 2017, first meeting of the new year, uh, regular meeting of the Clay Township Board. Mary, if we would read us in the pledge, please. Certainly. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, approval of minutes, uh, Paul, that would be uh, a second. I would like to uh, move for approval of minutes from the December 13th meeting. I will second. Those in favor? Aye. Aye. With two ayes and one abstention. Uh, any public comments? Hearing none, we'll move on to the first action item, which is to elect a new chairman and secretary for the 2017 calendar year. Mary, do you have a... I do. I would like to um, elect as chairman this year Paul Bolin. I would second. gladly second that. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. And secretary? Um, I would like to nominate Mary Eckert for, stake, for secretary this year. And I would gladly second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> it's been an absolute pleasure leading this group for the past year. Paul, I will turn it over to you, sir. All right, and before we go any farther, I want to thank Matt for presiding over a very busy year that included construction and renovation of two fire stations and a new fire training and maintenance facility. You did a great job. It was a lot of work, and you're to be commended. Thank you so much. I'd like to add my thanks to that. I think he said it very well, but you've been really a champ about the whole thing. Thank you, guys. It was a pleasure. Good. Well done. All right. Next action item is to establish newspaper of record for 2017. Doug? Yeah, we're going to continue to use the um, Indy Star and also the uh, Times in Noblesville as our two papers. Very good. May all I have right. a... I'm sorry. Go ahead. I just, I just... Yeah. All I want to know is what does the Times... Where is it distributed? I never see it. Don't know what it we is get into here every time. I mean, it's something we, we pay for, uh, but um, uh, there's not many of it, any many papers around anymore uh, that that covers it. Now, I will tell you that the current covers probably the largest part of of Carmel with theirs, but I need to check with Brian to see if uh, they can legally do this for us because the only they're very expensive but they do hit most people in this community and that's the good thing about it but but i want to make sure because remember we did it one year and they couldn't because it's something that they 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 didn't have 50 percent of the people did not pay for their paper that's well, why who pays for the current they're they're um the advertisers do, do yeah so because we don't pay for it, mm -hmm. they can't be our, mm -hmm. our that, that's, There's like five rules, and that's oh. one of them, and that, that's the only rule. But I know the, the uh, uh, General Assembly downtown, they were working on changing that. So I don't know if they ever got it changed or not. Oh, well, let's just leave it the way so it is. So right now, I mean, that, if anything, we, we can always go back and add them, or we can still go back and add them if, if we want to. Yeah. Because it, they reach so much so many more people in our yeah. territory than the Times does. The only place that they don't reach is, in a, is home place. They don't go there yet. No. What is happening with that annexation? I've had more people ask me about it. Sorry, not trying to change right. the subject. Uh, but today, uh, I went to a meeting here, and I was asked by a number of people what's happening. The Supposedly, the, the no-annex people are uh, appealing. The last voting from the judge in Noblesville so, and I haven't heard anything other than that. Nothing further. Okay. All right. Thanks. Mm -hmm. I move we use the recommended newspapers for our newspaper of record for 2017. I second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Next action item, a resolution, number 2017-01-03, Dash 01 regarding public official bond for trustee, deputy trustee, and clerk. Doug? Mm -hmm. it, every year uh, I put together a resolution, and this is for the bonding of people in our office that handles the money. 
Uh, so it's, um, it's the trustee, the clerk, which is Debbie, and then um, our uh, deputy uh, trustee, which is uh, Dr. Dillon. And we have to do, the largest bond you can get is $300,000. So because we deal with over $10 million a year, then that's why we have to get a $300,000 through the, and the State Board of Accounts requires this. So it's just an annual thing. And this is just a renewal of what we've been right. doing for the last several years. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. 2017 Clay Township Regional Waste District Board appointment. Concurrence letter, Doug. Uh, again, uh, every year we normally have one or two people that need to appoint to the park or to the waste district board. Uh, I usually will come up with a name and you guys normally will concur or tell me whether you you do or you don't. Uh, this year, uh, I've had Barb Lamb, uh, Orchard City Carmel HR, and I've talked to several people from the Waste District and their board, and they do welcome her back to, uh, because she is so helpful when it comes to their HR. Something that's, you know, uh, they have a weak area. She has so much knowledge that she brings to them that they were really excited when I said, well, you know, uh, what do you think about Barb Lamb? And they jumped all over that. So that's why I'm bringing it back to you. And then you guys, this is a concurrence, but if you guys feel differently, you know, you can always tell me no, and we need to look at somebody else. But, uh, but they, they, they hated to see Barb leave last year, so. I'd but, like to make a motion that she's reappointed okay. to the Clay Township Waste District Board. Second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. All right, that's it for action items. Well, I have a question. Go ahead. Since we all agreed about uh, Hamilton County Parks request, can we go ahead and okay that money, or do we need to do that formally, or can you just? Let's do a resolution. Let me put together okay. a resolution, um, and then we'll do it. Is it is it 10000 yes. yes. Okay, okay. Uh, but, yeah, I... I uh, and for those watching, it's the 50th anniversary of the Hamilton County Parks and Recreation, the Hamilton County Re Parks and Recreation Foundation, and the park system plays a huge part in Clay Township. And for their 50th anniversary, they will be doing a, a big fundraiser of which um, we all feel is worthwhile and a just cause to bring more awareness to the county parks, parks many, m many acreages of which reside here in Clay Township. Is that fair? Yes, that's fair, and, and we would be the major sponsor, would we not? Yes. Yeah. I so think we can fair. add that as an action item at our January 24th meeting. Yeah. Right? Right. Yes, we'll, Good. we'll do that. Good. Okay. Good point, Matt. Information items, Doug. 2017 Carl yeah, Clay um, Parks Board appointment. This is my appointment, so you guys don't have to, other than I just want you to acknowledge that I'm reappointing Jim Engledale. To the parks board um jim again is somebody that's been around for a long time that really does a a fantastic job there um so i just want to let you know okay i think that's great he, he really has been a benefit in the community with all of his knowledge and he's he really does lead that board you know paul oh. you yeah i've known him for i've known him for almost 50 years and i think he's an outstanding guy I know. Can you Are believe you I'm that old? Uh, no, I've known the man for quite a while. I think he's an outstanding leader and citizen, and it's just a great guy. We went to junior high and high school together. Well, I've known him for about 30, and you got me clobbered. Yeah. <laughs> that's, what, that's what happens when you're 59 years old, dude. you got a long way to go to catch up. Okay. All right. Um, annual report meeting, January 24th. 24th, Doug? yes, and I will bring, I can bring that to you guys, the resolution for the parks. Excellent. Just okay. a reminder, um, and just for your information, most likely we won't have a meeting in February um, unless something does come up. Um, and, and I'm not even so sure March either, but uh, because we th these past two years have been really crazy. Right. So, uh, but I don't have anything that I know of for sure unless something comes up, nothing in February, but March is questionable. But I will let you know ahead of time. Okay. okay. Um, and the meeting in March would be, if we had it, what date? In March, it's, uh, do you it's guys have a copy the, of the uh, March? 
be February 28th and March 28th. Do you, does, does everybody have a copy of the minutes for this year? I, I don't know where mine is, but I'll uh, give you I'd one. Like yeah, I got plenty here. Talk to you later about the March date. <sighs> Okay. Financial questions from the board. Anybody? I have none. I don't have any either. Neither do I, Doug. Any board comments? Mary? Well, I'd just like to thank you, Matt. It's been a great year. We've had a lot to do, and I think our board gets along uh, very well in making decisions. We may have different opinions, but we always resolve it. And I'm really proud of what we've done with the fire department, and it's just been a very good year. Thank you, Doug, too. Didn't mean to leave you out. Matt? I think it, I'm, I'm happy. I'm very happy with the way the three of us work things out. Oh, I think this year, more than any, we had not major conflicts, but disagreements on the way we wanted to get to the same goals. Right. Um, and I love the way we worked them all out together as a team. And, and um, I would say for, for the public that, you know, this job that we've got you can work as many or as few hours really as you want but i know that this past year with several meetings every month all of the projects the parks departments um, every one of us <laughs> put in pro at least i put in more hours than than uh, than i have in the past and i, I would assume we, we all have to this year as well and well there have been lots of phone calls too along with the meetings yes to work things out so anyway thank you all the only, and I agree with both of you, well said. I, I, I do want to acknowledge uh, Mary's mother passed away last month. And Mary, Thank we you. were thinking very much of you and your family. Um, and uh, you're in our prayers. Thank you very much. Any announcements, Doug? None that I know of. It's been a pleasure this last year. Like you got both, say, all of you said, it's been crazy busy. And, um, uh, I appreciate the support that my office gets from the three of you. It sure makes a difference in working together. You know, and if there's a problem, you, you pick up a phone and you call us or we can call you guys. And, and that really is a good feeling to have when you work in an office, like, like uh, a, a, a government office. Maybe we ought to join hands and sing Kumbaya. That'd be all right. Probably. No fire Fair in the probably. fireplace. Okay. May I have a motion for adjournment? I'm so moved. I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We stand adjourned at 612. Thank you very much. <laughs>